A Minnesota baby who got a second chance at life is celebrating a major milestone today, his first birthday. You may remember the story of Super Tom, an infant who received a heart transplant last spring. Our Kirsten Mitchell went to Rochester today where the little fighter has touched many hearts. Happy birthday. Surrounded by love. Happy birthday. Baby Tom celebrates his first birthday. We celebrate today. <laughs> a day many feared would never come. Our worst year ever, but also the best year ever because we have Tom. Shlomo and Mati came to the U.S. to adopt their children, Emily and Tom, being that same-sex couples are not allowed to do so in Israel. But after Tom was born, doctors discovered he had heart disease and would need a transplant. They took us to a lounge there and we sat and I looked at Mati and I told him, listen, Something bad is happening. Tom spent months in the ICU undergoing many surgeries until finally his time came on April 17th when a donor gifted him a new heart. I can never, ever thank you enough. Tom's medical team, including his doctor, surgeon, and longtime nurse, came to celebrate his birthday. Arik is his nurse that took care of him and, us. and took care of us. It's nice to have a a reunion like this to remind us that um, it's a privilege for what we do and um, and it's the kind of thing that keeps you motivated and keeps you going. Super Tom is his nickname for his strength to get to today and his journey ahead. He still has some things to you know work through and work on but he I mean he's growing well he looks fantastic. Tom will grow up and he will be a functional member of society and he will probably teach us things that we never thought of right now. Tom's story, a reminder of how organ donors can give others a second chance at life. Because of a parent that lost their son or daughter, we don't know, he's here with us today. Mm -hmm. So and in, in Hebrew we have a saying, if you save one, wor one, one person, you save life, the whole world. You save the whole world. In Rochester, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. Originally, the plan was to return to Israel, but now the family has found a special community in Rochester and may stay, depending on how Tom progresses.